Okay, so you've had a quick look around Visio. You've uh, had it do a generate a website map for you. And uh, let's look a little bit more at some of the things that you can do. First off, when it draws this diagram, it, it brings it out in a hierarchical view. So it's looking at it from uh, sort of a how does this lay out if I was to look at the, the, the folders and the structure, the navigation architecture essentially is what it is because what it is is we've got our, our front page, these are the pages that it links to, here's the, the lessons page, this is the pages that it links to. So really this is a, a navigation architecture plan. This is the, this is the view that a uh, web crawler would view, a web crawler being something like a search engine who is looking to see what kind of content you had on your page. So there's a hierarchical view. So that's one form of uh, information architecture is how, how does this lay out. And because of the way that I design, uh, it also happens to be the view of how my folders are laid out in my website. But there's also a page-centric view, which is an interesting uh, element to use. So if you click on the page-centric view, what it's going to do is it's going to come in and it's going to focus on uh, whatever document you choose. So that started with the home page. If I choose the lessons, which is uh, at this point the, the core element of my website, and then it's going to think and it's going to come up with a new diagram that instead of placing the home page up there as the most central thing, it puts whatever page I was looking at as the most important element. So it shows how you can get to that and uh, how you can go from there. So it changes the world upside down. And if you looked at the um, Prezi presentation about uh, understanding information architecture, you'll remember that one of the things that they do is they say that the web has flipped from being a home page centric to centric uh, websites to mini landing pages or mini home uh, versions. And so this can show you that view of an existing website. If you come to a specific page within there, what is that relationship going to be um, in relation to the west, rest of that website? And it can diagram it out so that you can see that uh, structure, that um, architecture for that particular page. Uh, and again, this comes back to here's one of the particular pages on my website. It's linked to from two pages and then it has other links out. So it gives you that ability. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to the hierarchical view. What I want to do now is uh, just to show you a couple of the things that are in here. There, there's a lot to learn about this and uh, in a minute I'll show you um, where you can learn a lot more about this. Uh, but one of the things that I want to do is I want to create a report. And what this does is it allows me to look at, I can do an inventory, website map of all the links, website map of links with errors. So if I was wanting to go through a website and see, you know, where are their errors, that kind of thing, uh, I'm just going to do an inventory now. And what that allows me to do is it'll go through and it will allow me to have an Excel, an HTML, Visio Shape, or an XML um, report and I'm just gonna for now I'm gonna take Excel just because and what that will do is it'll go through and it's going to look at how many connectors do you have how many images do you have how many HTML documents do you have etc 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 so it gives you a real strong picture of uh, what is this site all about now I could also go back through and look at broken links or whatever. So th that's just an, another set of tools that are available for you to use. So I want to um, send you to a site that will help you to learn Visio because for some of you this is going to be an extremely powerful tool. Uh, if you go to uh, lynda.uwstout.edu and before you do this you have to have your VPN uh, operational if you're off campus. If you're on campus you can just go straight there but uh, you have to have your virtual private network set up and we talked about that um, in previous classes. Um, you can drop into the Ask 5000 website to to get the VPN and information about it. But anyway I've come to lynda.com which UW Stout has a license to all of their videos. It's a great reference and um, Rather than me demonstrating some of the things in Visio, I'm going to point you in this direction. So I'm going to go to Visio 2000, just first to Visio. 
And the first thing that you're going to find when you get here, at least at the time when this uh, video is being recorded, is that they don't have anything for Visio 2013. It's brand new. We've downloaded it, and they haven't even got the um, the information up on Linda yet. There's an Office 2013 first look, uh, but there's really a fundamental change in the way things work then. But that said, if you go to the Visio 2010 Essential Training, one of the things that you're going to have to do in this class um, is you're going to have to do some wireframing. And the wireframing that we're going to do is much more in depth than what you have done in um, my class previously where we did very basic wireframes. So when you come to this Visio 2010, one of the things I would strongly recommend is investing 16 minutes into the creating uh, prototype diagrams using wireframes because we're going to be doing wireframes. And this walks you through some uh, really cool tools that are available within Visio to help you to go in depth into into the different types of uh, components that you're going to need to use in your wireframe. So uh, when you look at the article that I um, posted in the textbook and um, in the uh, electronic textbook under information architecture, there's a article about wireframes. And that is, again, in the information architecture stack when you're in there. And it is shades of gray, uh, wireframes as thinking device. And the argument that this individual has when he's writing this article is that you can actually use your wireframe to help you to uh, do the prototyping from the standpoint of uh, getting the details in there, getting different versions, different looks, that kind of thing. So instead of it being a result of the planning process, it is a part of the planning process uh, where you actually use the, the wireframing to create different versions and, and decide what you're going to do. And if you look at the examples of the wireframes that they're using, they are significantly uh, more detailed than what uh, you may have done in your previous showing hyperlinks, showing images, showing image holding uh, spaces, um, uh, menu bars, that kind of thing. And so that's what this um, video uh, in Linda is talking about is some of those details because that's what you're going to have to do uh, when we get start working with the responsive designs. You're going to have to think in much more detail about what do you want to have in uh, at each different size because you're going to be doing wireframing for uh, the same website but you're going to have wireframes for uh, large screen, uh, tablet size, and cell phones all within the same uh, set of wireframes. So this will become a tool that's going to help you to think through that process as you're going forward. And so I'd recommend you uh, watch those Linda tutorials. Uh, you'll be using this Visio software to do your dia uh, diagramming because, well, unless there's some other tool that you like. But really, frankly, there really is no other tool uh, that I have ever learned about that is as good as Visio for doing that kind of work. I'm not going to save that. And so um, there we've got our website map. Um, there's other kinds of website maps that can be designed. I'm going to get rid of this one. And it brings me back to the, the new screen. And I'm going to choose web again. And so I've got the option for a conceptual website now. This is uh, the place where you can do draw more of the um, hierarchical type look uh, for a website where you'll draw the home page, um, the different information like that. So we might have our, our home page in there. Uh, we might have a, a group of pages, um, you know, our navigation. and that, that type of thing. So uh, anyway, um, this will allow you to do that hierarchical type 
of development um, much easier than any other software and then there's one other kind of template that I want to bring your attention to and that is again going back to the file new and that is wireframing now it shows up in my uh, Visio because I already done a search and opened this but if you can't find it and I had difficulty finding it if you just enter a wireframe then it's going to bring you to this template you can double click on that and open it and what it's going to do is it's going to bring you the basic wireframe uh, and you'll have access to the tensils that you need and he talks about these in his Visio's you've got toolbars so it gives you the different things that might show up in a toolbar. It gives you controls so that if you wanted to insert a hyperlink into a page or a drop down menu or a list box or any of those things, um, it would actually allow you to enter the address that you're going to uh, in there. Um, but the important thing to remember, uh, it'll also allow you to do you know all the different kinds of things that you might want to do on a website they've got the tools that allow you to do it this doesn't create a working prototype it creates a visual prototype uh, and sometimes you can link between different pages of the prototype like you might have it where you you click on a hyperlink and it'll bring you to page two that kind of thing does work but it isn't a, a, a truly operational uh, website for prototype but as we're moving forward you're going to need to do this so um, for the lab this week uh, go ahead, come in, play with this just so that you get familiar with it so that when we get to the point of actually doing the um, the different uh, assignments of things you need to do, you'll already be familiar with Visio and you'll be f able to proceed from that point.